Good morning, everybody. I slept at this on route rest area just north of Toronto on Highway 400, and uh, they got a big shop inside, sort of like a, a service center you'd see on the Ohio Turnpike or something. Uh, it's got like a Burger King in there, some Swiss Chalet. Uh, I think that's what it's called, Swiss Chalet. There's uh, Tim Hortons, big area travel information and. So there was a lineup like around the corner for Tim Hortons, like 20, 30, 40 people in line, right? I'm not even exaggerating. And uh, nobody in line at Burger King. Nobody. So where do you think I went? Burger King has coffee too. So I went to Burger King. <laughs> I don't know why everybody lines up at the same store. Tim Hortons coffee isn't even that good. I know I just committed a, a sin as a Canadian. I still like Tim Hortons coffee, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's it's a Canadian icon. A lot of people go there out of habit, and I'm not trying to stop that. I'd like them to continue being a Canadian thing. Uh, however, uh, I'm just sort of on a break from their coffee right now. I don't know, I'm just, I'm exploring new worlds, new ways of life, exploring new coffee. And I found that a lot of other places have really good coffee too. And there's no lineups. <laughs> so let's see if we can get this wide load on the highway. And I'm not talking about my butt either. I'm talking about the load I'm pulling. I'm pulling a 10 foot wide load of uh, sheets of steel that are designed for a large crude oil storage container. I think. They're going to Alberta, to the oil fields. So uh, I know that they're for oil. May I take this opportunity to quickly plug the oil fields and say, hey, we should build the pipeline. Just throwing that out there. Get Alberta back to work so they can build more of these oil bins so I can deliver more steel to them. How about that? But anyways, let's uh, focus on today here. We're in Southern Ontario and we're headed into Northern Ontario. The sun is up, which means I can pull this wide load onto the two-lane highways up in Northern Ontario. My permit says I'm not allowed to go up there uh, during nighttime or a half hour after sunset, I have to shut down. So I need to make it as far as I can today because I want to get through Northern Ontario completely tomorrow. I want to go home tomorrow night for a day. So they want this steel in Alberta on Wednesday and today is Saturday. And it's a three day drive. Well, just south of North Bay, Ontario, this Petro Pass. I fuel up the tanks. I gotta grab some washer fluid because I have a feeling I'm gonna go through like four gallons on the way through Northern Ontario. Just one of those days. It's that season. Everything is so messy. The snow is sort of between melting and not melting. Sort of half melting, I guess you would say. Salt everywhere. Everyone's spraying dirt and mud at me. So I figured we'd stop here for a little break. Man, did they get snow up here. It's crazy, just in Toronto, a couple of hours straight south of here, no snow, and it was raining. Look at this. Look at this. 
Look at this mess. Look at all this junk. That's what I call it. Junk. I have no use for it. Well, they don't sell DEF here in bulk, do they? Mm. All right, well, I'm gonna take the last pump all the way over here. Why? I don't know. I just like this one. If I can get my truck to turn, my wheels are sliding, and they're being pushed by all the weight behind me. We're heavy, probably sitting over 90,000 pounds. Beautiful. Oh yes, I'm so thirsty. Oh, they do sell DEF, it's right here. Oh good, it's just not a blue pump, it's a silver one here. Interesting. All right, okay. You know, this is the second day after I worked out. Remember I did my arms? Uh, what was it? In Michigan, day before yesterday. My arms are hurting more today than they did yesterday. I think I overdid it a little bit. And I didn't realize how much muscle mass I had actually lost. It's okay. It's just it's really painful to stretch my arms out straight. But it's okay. It's good. That means they're growing. <laughs> it's getting better. I'll be fine. Just wasn't expecting this, but... That's the whole reason I'm going to the gym, right? Is to uh, make progress, and sometimes progress is painful. Oh boy, ouch, moving my arm hurts. Okay, uh, let's get our jacket on. Ouch, 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 yep, yep. Oh, these guns are gonna be big. They better be, they better get, <laughs> man. I should maybe take the advice of my shirt. Shh. Nobody cares. I care. I care. Because it hurts. It turns out to be a pretty beautiful day up here. We're on Highway 11, the northern route through northern Ontario. We've got a pretty heavy load behind us right now, the 10 foot wide steel plates. And this road is flatter than the 17. It's 30 miles further to go around the northern route, 50 kilometers further. But if you're hauling a heavy load like this, it actually saves you time because you're not constantly slowly crawling up all the hills that are on 17. It also saves you money because you burn less fuel when you have such a heavy load, not, not having to climb all those hills. The only thing is it's a little bit more remote. And this isn't even the most remote part yet. We still have cell service here. The most remote part is, in my opinion, between Hearst and Long Lac. Uh, we're just about at Kappa's casing here. The sun's gonna set in a little over a half hour and I have to park a half hour after that. Because uh, we can't be pulling this wide load at night down this two lane road. So a half hour, half hour after sunset is when I have to stop. So I'm, I'm gonna make it to Hearst. I was really hoping to get to Long Lac tonight. That would make tomorrow's drive a little bit easier. But I should be able to get home from Hearst if we don't run into any traffic problems or anything. But you always have to have a plan when you're up on this road. Like I said, it's pretty remote. And between Hearst and Long Lac, there's a big gap where there's no cell service, unless if they've put up towers already. And you have to uh, keep your eyes open for wildlife up here. A lot of moose stuff will wander out onto the roads. You know, you don't want to hit a moose because you know, the. You, you don't really hit a moose. The moose hits you. That's sort of how it goes. Let's see how far we can get yet. Let's see what time it is when we get to Hearst. It's about a 12 hour drive home from there yet. So tomorrow's gonna be a full day because in Canadian hours of service, I can only drive 13 hours in one day. I can make it, but like I said, there's just, there can't be any delays. For now, I guess we'll enjoy this beautiful, beautiful uh, late afternoon, early evening. It's a beautiful day to be out here on the roads. My mic is all the way over there in the front. I'm just gonna use the camera mic for this. I'll just have to speak a little louder so you can hear me. It's a few days later and I'm editing this up right now. Same shirt, don't worry, I washed it in between. This thing dings every time I decide to start vlogging today. I'm serious. What in the world? So same shirt. Shh. Nobody cares. 
My arms still hurt, but now it's the other side. Now it's my triceps. My arms hurt for three days after I first worked them out again in like years. I thought I was a little tougher than I turned out to be, I think. But that's okay. <laughs> At least I know uh, I worked them, right? So the biceps, they're all, they're all healed up. I overdid it a little bit, but we're good to go now. But then I went and overdid the triceps. <laughs> at the gym so I'm learning I'm learning but I've also got to teach my body this new uh, lifestyle of of working out again it's been a long time and it feels great I tell you what I have more energy I'm in a better mood I wake up in a better mood like I've, I have a problem or I've had a problem in the past of waking up like I have problems with depression a little bit that's a topic for a different video uh, but uh, that's not what this is about right now. The I would wake up anyways. I'd have depression in the mornings uh, when I'd get up. But since I've started working out, I don't know if it's just because it's given me a purpose or something to work towards, something to feel good about. But I wake up and I feel great. And it's like I've been sleeping great. I don't have problems falling asleep. When I am asleep, I get into a deep sleep right away. It's just been all around great so far. I've been loving it. So, uh, I'm gonna keep doing it. It really does make you feel better, like they say it does. It just sort of really sucks to get into the workout routine, like me. I'm hurting right now because my body's not used to it. It, it hurts. But they always say if it doesn't ache the next day, you didn't go hard enough. You should be able to feel the next day that you worked out the day before. If you didn't, you didn't go hard enough. All right, if you wake up the next day after working out and you feel perfectly fine, nothing wrong, you're either already like really in shape and your body's completely used to it already, or you need to go back to the gym and try a little bit harder. Uh, that's that's what I was told growing up and that's what I still believe. Like I, I did my chest as well. The pecs, I think that's what they're called. I'm <laughs> just learning all these. I'm not a big buff workout dude. I'm just goofing off here a little bit, but I did my chest and I can feel how tight it is. I can feel my triceps when I lift it up like that. I can feel it. I like that feeling. It means that I did something and muscles are repairing themselves right now. Uh, I try to get some extra protein in there to help with the muscle regeneration. And I'm just researching this all myself. So I'm, I'm no workout pro. I'm, I don't exactly know what I'm doing or what I'm talking about. I'll admit to that. When I talk about trucking, yeah, I, I know most of what there is to know about trucking. Not everything. You still learn something new every day. But I know a lot about trucking. And working out, I don't know a lot about at all. At all. No, I watch YouTube videos to make sure I got my form right when I'm working out. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm having fun and I'm feeling great about it. So... As I get better at it, maybe I can be a help to some to some of you one day when you when you have questions about going to the gym and stuff. Right now, I'm not the guy to ask. So I have no idea what I'm doing, but it does feel great. Have I said that already? <laughs> so I don't know where I was going with that. I was going somewhere. I had a I had a path I was on. Uh, went on a rabbit trail. Got lost. But. <laughs> I forgot that uh, I didn't film for the rest of this day and I was going to combine it with tomorrow but it turns out tomorrow's vlog has quite a bit of footage and I can make that into its own vlog and I'd, I'd, I'd like to uh, release that to you tomorrow then just so I can make two videos for you instead of just compiling it all into like one 30, 35 minute video. You'll have one shorter video today and uh, a decent length video tomorrow. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. There is a new video coming tomorrow. I'll be working on it right away here. And uh, Hopefully to see you around in the future. If you want to get a hold of me on any of my social media or check out my wife's channel and her stuff, all of our links for all of my stuff and all of her stuff are down below in the description of this video. Go check it out if you'd like. Talk to you later.